Several years ago, I crossed some japonica corn, which has variegated foliage, with some popcorn. I ended up with some corn that had variegated foliage and multicolored ears. In this video, I'll talk a little bit about this project and show you how we did last year and tell you what I hope to accomplish this year. Here's what japonica corn looks like. The ears are a very deep, dark red, almost looking black sometimes. Here's a look at the results from some of the first few generations. As you can see, they have very beautiful, striking mixed colors. As I worked on trying to improve the variegation, I lost some of those bright colors. Here's a look at some of the ears that we produced last year. As you can see, I've lost quite a bit of quality, in my opinion. Since I'm pretty happy with the variegation we have so far, this year I'll attempt to stabilize the appearance of the ears by selecting seeds from just one plant. I'll pick one plant that has very good variegation and has high quality ears. One thing that I've noticed about the variegation is that if you get too much white, it stunts the growth of the plant. If you notice the plant with a butterfly on the leaf, it's shorter than the surrounding plants because it has a lot of white. In this project, I'm focusing on three things. The variegation, the appearance of the ears, and the popping quality of the ears. Since I'm focusing on more than one thing, it complicates things a little bit. Along with working with what I have now, I found some ornamental popcorn that pops very well. Here's a look at it. I'll be crossing the corn I have now with this ornamental popcorn to see if I can improve the popping and the appearance of the corn. I'm really looking forward to this year because I think I can make a lot of progress in the right direction. Mainly by introducing the genetics from the ornamental popcorn. If you're just now finding this channel and you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.